Welcome back to Chris Review Stuff. Today I'm doing something I really enjoy doing, uh, reviewing a obstacle course race. This is the Savage Race. This was uh, in June 2018, and this was in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania. This was uh, about five miles, 25 obstacles. Really fun. If you're if you enjoy the Spartan races, the Bone Frogs, this is the next level. Um, the Savage Race was super hard, super fun and i i loved it um this after doing all of the competitive races well not competitive i don't i don't compete i compete against myself uh, but after doing all of the obstacle course races the spartans i've done uh you know got the trifecta last year we did a couple this year um the all terrains the bone frogs what else is there a few other ones i enjoyed the savage race the best uh, five miles, they do offer like a little bit longer, but five miles is like the perfect amount of running I want to do, the perfect amount of obstacles, like 20 to 25. It is the best race. They advertise it as like the perfect distance the, the and awesome obstacles. And that's what this is, you know, like the Savage Race is really, really fun. If you want to challenge yourself with obstacles, um, the Savage Race is what to do. I do enjoy the Sav the um, the Spartan races. I've done a bunch of Spartan races. That's where I started with. I started with the Beast, done all that stuff. The Beast is really challenging because it's a real endurance race because it's 15 or so miles. And doing East Coast, you're going up Mountain Creek. You're doing places that you go skiing and snowboarding. So it's real mountains. You're, you know, you're traversing the mountains. You're coming back down them. You're going up and down, up and down. So yes. The Spartan gives you that endurance, 15 miles that you want. If you want to do that, cool. However, if you enjoy obstacles, which is what I really, really enjoy, that's how I train, I train to do the obstacles, the Savage is where you want to be. Um, so if you, like I said, if you love if you love the obstacles, Savage is what you want to do. They will beat you up and they will punish you, but yet you will be so satisfied if you can complete them. I could not complete every one of the Savage race um, obstacles. Um, I really beat myself up when I got home after that because I beat myself up a little bit at the race too. Um, however, it did rain, so I want to give it. I want to say that all the, a lot of the obstacles I failed were really wet, muddy, and really difficult to grab. However, that's not an excuse because if I had better grip strength, I would have been able to persist through the wet mud, you know. But um, I'd like to think if it was drier. I would have a better chance at it, but whatever. That's, that's beyond the point. The point is that they are hard and they are cool. They're fun. If you are, if you have not done an obstacle horse race, um, the Savage is cool. Like, don't get me wrong. It's really, it's a lot of fun, but I don't think it's for first timers because the obstacles are really difficult. You're going to be like, I kept getting wet. I kept falling in the water because I couldn't do the obstacles. This is not for me. You know, so I would not suggest the Savage Race to be your first obstacle course race. If you want to get into OCRs, you definitely want to do like a Bone Frog. I felt that was the easiest one. Or even a Terrain Race. Terrain races are great to, you know, really start with because they're very simple. It's cheap to get into. If you don't like the Terrain Races, you're not going to like anything else. So it's a good way to, to kind of warm up. If you want to move up, the next level I would say would be Spartan. Spartan races, you can do like your three to five, your five to eight, whatever, and you can go up to 15 miles. The obstacles there are, are challenging, but they're not as challenging as the Savage Race. I feel a lot of the Spartan ones are, you know, you're carrying sandbags, you're carrying really heavy things. It's pushing you to the limit with weight and strength. Whereas the Savage Race is really testing a lot of upper body, a strength as well, but the sandbags are like half the weight. The, um, the Hercules pull is like half a quarter of the weight. The Hercules pull in Spartan is like my body weight. I weigh 150 pounds, I think the bag is 120. You know, it's, that's really hard for me to pull up because it's, it's more than half my weight, you know? But it's a challenge with the Spartan. The Savage is like, you know what? It's a little bit whatever. We'll have a lighter sandbag. We'll put you, we'll put you in more difficult um, obstacles. So like you can see, like I couldn't do the, they have one where you do rings and then you transition to cat's tails really hard really fun i had to try it again afterwards same same i repeated the same result it was really hard um 
I thought that there was enough water stations at the Savage Race. I wish there was a few more because sometimes I felt like I was really thirsty and then sometimes like there was two water stations that were really close to each other but then there was another one that was really, really far. I think they could have kind of worked that out or maybe spread them out a little bit better. Maybe put one more water station, you know? Like here you have Holy Sheet, which is a sheet to a transition to a, a ball at the end, which was really difficult. I got stuck on it because I couldn't swing across. The ball was really wet, so I couldn't get a good grip on it. Fun obstacle. I've never seen anything like this before. So that's why I love the Savage. It's cooler obstacles than anything I've seen and really challenging. Um, the Savage Race is like 100 bucks to get into it. They do have some promotions, which I thought were really cool because you can get in, you know, $70, $80. They offer some military discounts, I believe some first responder discounts. So you, if you work it, you deserve the discount, get it. Student discounts, I believe, as well. I think, I think that was this one, not the Bone Frog. Um, great race. Uh, the only thing is, too, with a Spartan race, you start the race and everyone's like, you know, who are we? We're Spartans. You really feel like a family. Everyone at the Spartan race, every one of the Spartan races I've done, I've had someone, you know, excuse me, running from the left to the right. Hey, you're doing a great job cheering everyone on. At a Spartan race, I really feel as if we're a family and everyone's looking out for each other. You know, if someone's sucking wind, hey, you okay? Do you need some mustard? Do you need, do you need some help? Blah, blah, blah. At the Savage race, uh, I felt... That does not exist. I didn't feel any camaraderie besides the last obstacle, which you'll see much later on. The last obstacle is the only obstacle I felt there were any interaction with any other racer, or any other racers besides my team. Now, that sucks. Um, the reason I go to these is, you know, to push myself, to challenge myself, yes, but it's really fun to have someone like, hey, do you need a hand? Or, hey, you're doing a good job. Or, or for me to cheer someone else on, I felt really odd cheering someone else on at the Savage Race. Whereas at the Spartan Race, or even at the Bone Frog, the Terrain, some of the other ones, you feel like everyone's like, you know, you're cheering on each other, good job, good job. At the Savage Race, I felt as if I was odd. I was out of place cheering someone else on. Which is not fun. I, I did not enjoy that. It's something small, but yet it's, it is pretty big, you know. Like the community is, I, I, I didn't feel a community at the Savage Race. Um, I don't know if that's another thing I felt or I saw. The Savage Race was a lot of a, a lot younger crowd than any of the Spartans, any other race I've been to. Um, it's a much, I wanted to say, a college crowd. I really felt there was a lot of younger men and women doing this, a lot of college students doing this, having fun, competing with each other, against each other, you know, or even themselves. Um, so the crowd was much younger, and I don't know if that has to do with anything of why there was no camaraderie. You know, like we haven't, they haven't been doing many of these races, so they don't expect anyone to cheer them on or to help someone else. I don't know if that's what it is. I want to say no, because I mean, I'm not much older than them. You know, I'm in my mid 30s, but I feel like there was much a much younger crowd here. I didn't feel anyone hated. You know, there was any hate or you know, disp it just no one interacted with each other, which was weird. You know, I, I don't know. I really didn't expect that. But that's one thing that I learned at the Savage Race is don't expect anyone to help you unless you really need help and you're sucking wind. But otherwise, you know, it's a little different of a, of a feel as opposed to a Spartan race than a Savage Race. But in wrapping it all up, the obstacles, please continue watching because the obstacles are really cool. Like this sawtooth here was really difficult. Again, really wet. Like people were doing it too. So it's like I can't even say, oh, it was too wet. You know, I couldn't do it. It, it didn't help, but um, people were doing it. So I just got to work on my grip strength, you know. So that's what's cool about these obstacles too is I couldn't finish it, but I know what to do to, to finish it next time. So to push myself, how to, ch how to challenge myself and train better so that I could do this next time. So that's fun, you know, like it offered me a challenge. Whereas at the Spartan races, uh, I feel like I'm challenged, but I don't feel that, um, I don't feel that I can't, can't do anything at a Spartan race. When I go to the Spartan race, I can, I can do everything. And yes, I've trained, but it wasn't, they're not super challenging. Savage gives you the challenge. Savage is where you want to go if you want something really cool, fun, challenging uh, obstacles. You want something different. That Savage races for you. They're about on par with the Savage prices. Parking's about the same. You're gonna, it's all the same. Base camp was about the same too. Um, maybe a little less at some Spartans. You know, like we just did the medal, the the honor series uh, race at 
West Point, and the, the base camp was really big there. Um, whereas the Savage Race was a little smaller than that, but bigger than some other Spartans. You don't really get anything at the end. I was starving. I didn't get, um, I didn't get a banana. I didn't get a, a bar, a, a protein bar. I got a thing of water, and that was it. And I was sent on my way. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> the shirts are kind of cool, but they're very bland. Like they're, they I feel like they bought a billion shirts and just they use the same ones at every race. Whereas a Spartan, every race I've been to has a different shirt, whether it be a, a you know like a sprint or the beast or even like the the, the challenge series is you know have different ones so I felt this the shirt was a little kind of bland because it's boring but in all Savage Race definitely I look forward they have even a thing where you do two races in the same year you can get like a like a spinner uh, medal which is really sweet I'm hoping I'm hoping to get that this year they have different pins that you can get for different uh, different states that you compete in which is really cool so it kind of makes you it kind of wants you to go out and do different races different at different places savage race i'm definitely doing these in the future i may not do spartans anymore because i want to be challenged savage is what you want if you want a challenge if you want some difficulty if you want really cool different obstacles savage is where to go if you re rely on other people to help you, you may want to skip the Savage, as I did not... Again, this was only my first and only Savage race, so I can't say all races are like this, but this one I did not feel any camaraderie between my other racers, besides the last obstacle, which you really persisted on, each which you really needed each other for. A lot of the obstacles, there were lines. The last obstacle you'll see, we waited about 45 minutes to get to it. A lot of the other obstacles, we waited like 5 to 10 minutes. I feel Spartans are a little shorter lines. Um, I don't know if that's what, what they do, but ops, I feel like the Spartan sometimes has more of the obstacles. Like the, they have, you know, 10 to 12 rings for people to do here. They had like, you know, six or eight. So the Spartan is really set for more people to compete at once. Whereas I felt the Savage kind of was, you know, a little smaller, but so the lines kind of make it longer, making the time longer. So you, it's harder to compete against the time, but it's worth it because the obstacles are great. Definitely recommend if you are into a challenge, the Savage Race, or if you just want to switch it up a little bit, do a Savage Race. It's a great team one, you know, like you can work as a team, but don't go there. Again, don't go there and expect anyone else, that's any other racer to help you besides your team.
just use the rope to climb up. One of legs guys. <laughs> I'm gonna grab you right now. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you're so stuck on me. Go ahead. Good. Gotcha, Chris. Oh, thanks, brother. Thanks, man. Good job. Let them go, Chris. Let them go, Chris. Let them go, Chris. Everything up here. Everything up here. Catch your feet. Catch your feet on that knot. There you go. Like, yeah, I know, that's pretty cool, but I just don't get wet. I'm still on, right? My camera? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Go! <clears throat> oh, he tells you when to go. Watch your hat, watch your hat. I don't think it cares. Just do it. Let's go. Ready? You ready? Sure. Just stay on the left, left side of that seam to avoid the tear at the bottom. Okay. Oh, we can't go together? No, go. Ready? Set, go.